Little wins, right? Yep. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. I decided to use uh, battery monitoring. So I took the provided cable and soldered it to the battery terminals on the back side here and ran it to the battery inspection port. I then covered the wires with some heat shrink, it's clear heat shrink, and tacked it down with some welder's glue. Later I'm going to cover it with some liquid electrical tape to protect it even more from scuffing when the quad hits the ground. So that's the uh, battery voltage monitoring wire. Now later I'm going to add a beeper. In fact, I think I've already uh, got that prepared and I'll show it to you now. So if we turn the quad over you can see where I've plugged the beeper in right there and I'm going to stick that down with some double stick tape too later on but uh, this also comes with a provided cable and you just have to solder it onto the back of the beeper and there it is right there so we'll go ahead and tape it down later. So after a little programming this will allow me to flip a switch on my radio and use the beeper like a lost quad finder and it'll also uh, give me a battery alarm and beep when my battery gets too low giving me a warning or it'll show me the uh, minimum that the battery can go down to so that's going to be pretty good I think this is a necessity and ought to be added to the boards in the future and have it already mounted on there so I got my quadcopter the Emacs hooked up to the computer with a USB cable and I've got a flight battery on the quadcopter and I'm just going to go ahead and basically configure a battery alarm so what I do is I go to the configuration tab right here and enable the battery voltage monitoring right here come down and you can set these to whatever you want I'm just going to leave them like they are and I'm just going to go ahead and save it and you can hear the test going on the beeper is beeping and it should quit so I've got a three cell battery on there if I run this up to like four volts the, the warning level oh, going the wrong way go up to about four volts yeah let's just make it four or three like the maximum there that should make the alarm go off so I'm going to save it all right there's the initialization now you can hear it going off so you can just hear it repeating beeping over and over so then I set this back to 3.5 and it won't do that until I get to 3.5 next time 3.5 per cell I mean it's just an average of the cells because it doesn't know each individual cell it just takes the battery three cell battery and divides the voltage by three and comes up with these values so that's what that is so I'm going to save that now I've got my radio hooked up too uh, so let's go to mode selection and to use the switch on my radio I've got aux 2 set up right here with a check mark so it's in the high position the beeper will go off and that helps me find my quadcopter. Okay, Tyrannus is complaining I'm not doing anything with it, so let's do something with it. I'm going to go ahead and flip the uh, AUX2 switch and you should see this beeper light up. Beeper on. And you can hear the beeper going off and the beeper is light up on the screen. And I can turn the AUX2 off and it goes off. So I can find my, my quad that way too if I lose it. So that's all set up and we're ready to go. And of course you always have to save these things if you change anything. But uh, that's it. Ready to roll as far as the battery alarm and the lost quad finding. I see what it looks like. I see... I can barely see it because my glasses are still on, but... Looks like I'm looking at a cinema right now because of rock. Oh, you're behind. Oh, you hit the tree. Oh! Well, it didn't break anything. As far as well, I don't know if it didn't break anything. Kind of bent the antenna over a little bit. No, that's not. Well. Still works.
There we go, did a landing. And the battery alarm is already going off. Well, the battery alarm was going off, so we know the battery alarm works. Right in the sun, of course. <laughs> I did hear it go beep beep when I started it up. Yeah, it's beeping now. Yeah, I hear it beeping. It's not big enough, you think? Well, the battery's big enough. It's just that uh, we get a voltage sag, you know, when the uh, when oh, you start. Need more C rating. Need more C's, I guess. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, it acts like it's not got as much power as it used to. Too bad you don't have another C to, to tell you the actual battery voltage. You know what I mean? Oh, look out. <laughs> That's kind of the problem I have. I keep going up and down a lot of the simulator. All right, I'm just trying to keep it steady as it goes by. I did learn a trick for you. When you actually get racing, um, when you go to make a turn, you have to move the uh, cycling stick in the same direction as you're making on the rudder stick. So, uh, in other words, if you're going left, you move the cyclic left a little bit too to counteract the forward motion. Yeah, good idea. Oh, look out. Oh, which way you <laughs> Well, the battery's definitely going off solid now. The battery alarm's working. Oh, it quit there again. I guess it has some voltage sag, but the battery feels a little warm, not too bad. Yeah. But I guess we better quit, right? Yeah, I think it needs a bigger battery for the racing like that. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it just needs a 2200 with more C's. Yeah, that could work. How many cells does it take? It can take a four cell. This it is can a three take cell. A four cell? Yeah. You get a. Hey, you could put one of those four cell zippies on there. Here, play.